Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So I'm back at it again with a multiple rank up level up video. As you can see up there, I have 121,000 points already in the tech advancement. And I scrolled down so that you could see that I had no points in level up, which means I got all of those points from using Sig Stones and opening crystals. That is where that came from. All right, so you can see the, uh, I didn't record it, but the three-star Penny Parker, I maxed out her SIG. The four-star Penny Par Parker, I maxed out her SIG. Now I'm taking up the three-star Penny Parker and we got lucky that the tech advancement happened at the same time as the level up right after Penny Parker entered the contest. So I've got Penny Parker to rank up. And uh, that, that allowed us to really make a push and get some good points in the uh, tech advancement. All right, so as you can see here, I'm just checking because I knew I had the five-star Penny Parker, but I hadn't claimed her yet. And I didn't want to go through all of my rewards, scroll all the way down just to claim that one. Uh, I just, I like to collect all of the rewards and then hit them all at the same time, usually in between arenas, because I have arena rewards, the objective rewards, all of that. So I took the three star up, I claimed the five star that we got from the arena, and now I'm taking the five star up, okay? Uh, Penny Parker is actually a really, really decent champion. Uh, I've watched some videos on her, and I know several people who have her as a six star that took her to rank three. And I know in my alliance, uh, especially for defense, uh, we are uh, we have one person, I think, that has said they'll take Penny Parker up uh, for defensive purposes. But she's actually really good on offense as well. I need to learn more about her. I don't know enough about her other than just a few videos that I've seen that special two damage looks insane. Uh, of course, I've fought against her, but a lot of times that's not so easy. Now, I just took her to rank three. Uh, I don't have any five stars below rank three right now, okay? And I was looking over here, and I'm like, hmm. I was hoping that I had like a, a tech awakening gem because I would have used it on her. This is the perfect time to do that. Uh, but I was like, eh, all right, it's a generic... So I'm not going to uh, worry about it. So that's what the tech advancement looks like now. Plenty of points. You can see the time. Now I've got 84,000 points in the level up. That was all from the three star and the five star. And I'm like, man, we have a little bit of time left. What else can I do? What other damage? Now, this video covers two level ups. Okay, we're still on the first level up that had the tech advancement uh, with it. And I've also, and you probably saw it in there a little bit earlier, uh, I've also already opened up some crystals and got some new six stars that I'll also level up, all right? And so I'm looking here and I'm just like, hmm, we're short just a little bit. Now this, you can look and see the Daily Bugle store, uh, which by the time you watch this, I believe it will be, uh, over, but you can see kind of what I purchased. And I recorded at the end because I used up everything, but I pretty much grabbed everything that I wanted from here. Uh, I didn't bother with like the five star and uh, shards and things like that. Um, I don't think, but yeah. So we came back to Penny Parker and I do have those resources. And so, boom, we took her up. So let me explain my rationale behind this. If you have been following me, you know that Kabam has given me a ton of tech resources. They just keep doing it. And so I was tired of seeing these tech resources. So I said, I'm going to use them up. That way, if they do give me more tech resources, okay. You know, it's not going directly in my into my overflow, okay? And I was looking here and I'm like, hmm, 
The only reason that I stop there is because of the T5 basics, because I need those for six stars and I wasn't ready to take her up. So that's the uh, final that we did after taking her up to rank four. Okay. Now, as you see, that is over. The tech advancement is done. I waited until the final event, waited till the final event and there was no more advancements. So now I'll take up the other champions that I have to level up that I just picked up. Now I don't have to do it right now, but I like to do it because it makes it just easier in the arena when I use them. Uh, I just don't like them being uh, that low. But in any case, uh, I have used up a lot of my uh, tech resources. And you can see here uh, the champs that I have. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the two stars right now, but I do want to get these six stars up to level 25. Just helps out in the arena. Um, but I used uh, just recently, I took up Ultron to rank three. That used up a ton of tech resources. And as you see here, I used up even more for Penny Parker. Uh, there's not that many techs that I want to actually take up. Now, at the time of this recording, there is a tech champion coming that I might want to invest in, uh, and that's Nimrod. I don't know. I don't know uh, enough about him, but he might be one because it looks like he's a mutant killer. So he has a place, you know, a nice utility in the game. He might be, if they give me a ton of tech resources again, might be somebody that I invest uh, tech resources into. But I didn't have anybody else, really, to, to invest the tech resources. After taking Ultron up, because he just got a rework and he is a beast now, used him in the Summer of Pain uh, finale. Uh, I have a video on the channel. Uh, take a look at that one. Uh, I actually did get a solo on uh, Emma Frost with Ultron in the Summer of Pain finale. So he's actually really good. And he's good against the Collector. If you push the Collector to a special two, it's fun. Because if your Ultron is Awakened, which mine is, uh, Sig 40, I believe, you can tank the... Uh, Grandmasters, I think I said the Collector, sorry. Uh, you can tank the Grandmasters Special 2 with Ultron Awakened. And it is a beautiful thing to see. Normally, that would wreck you. Ultron Awakened, no problem. <clears throat> now, okay, I want you to see this. This is the final rank level up for that event. Okay, that's the last one that we're going to do. And I think I show the, the final. Yeah, come on, get out of this. They always do, do that. Um, all right, so that's the final for the level up, 194,000, okay? So that's that level up. Now look at the next level up, Mutant Advancement. I just took up that Magneto and Mutant Advancement hits along with the level up. I was like, really, really? Now. Again, I did not bother to record um, all of the different things that I did uh, just to get some points for the advancement that weren't level ups uh, because uh, it just involves me using some Sig Stones or opening crystals. Um, and I may have made a video prior to uh, this where I ranked up um, or opened up some crystals to give me those points. But we got this two-star domino uh, from those collector crystals. Now is the time to take her up. You know, um, this is what I, I saved them for. You, you remember I mentioned before I was not gonna take the two stars up just yet. Well, this is, is the prime time for that two-star domino to go up. And uh, we can also awaken uh, domino and put some sig stones into her or any other um, mutant champion okay so um, I was looking here to see how many I had and 
And then I was like, wait a minute. And I, and I wish Kabam would fix or, or redesign this. You see what I just did there? I was looking at Namor because I'm looking for champions that benefit from a high SIG that I have not put SIG stones into. And you see, I went to Namor and Omega Red and you see they're both maxed. I should be able to tell that from this screen. So what I did was I came out of that because this is what you have to do, came out of that, and now I'm gonna go over to the SIG stones from my inventory, use item, now I have just the ones that are not maxed. And I can look and see, just scroll over and see who has the highest. Okay, he does, let's max him out now. Uh, they could make it much easier for us to do this. All right, but it is what it is. This is how I have to do that. Uh, trying to do it from the other screen, it just doesn't work well, all right? And so we eventually went ahead and put some uh, Sig Stones into Domino. Uh, I'm not sure about some of the other ones if they benefit, but, you know, these are my two stars. Don't really care all that much. Uh, so now I'm looking for some other mutants. Now check this out, guys. You're asking, sometimes people ask me, do I still rank up four stars? Yes, I do. So the three four stars that you saw at the bottom after X-23 are the only four star mutants that I have at rank three. That's it. And I currently have a ton because I did a lot of content, you know, um, and I hadn't been doing a lot of rank ups. So I have a lot of T4 basics, a lot of T2 alphas and a lot of T1 alphas in my overflow. So this is prime time, mutant advancement, level up. So I'm taking up the last of my four stars that are mutants that are still rank three. So they're going up to rank four. Now for the summoner trials, I don't really tend to use my four stars at rank four. So for them to really help me in the summoner trials, given that, I need to take champs to rank five, but I wasn't ready to do that just yet. Uh, I think I have all of the mutants that I want uh, four star um, maxed out, but I'll have to look again. Uh, soon, Kitty Pride will be coming to the contest. She's probably going to go to rank uh, five as a four star. All right. So that was a nice little chunk and I come back here 147,000 mutant advancement. That's good. That's good. That that's good enough uh for us to get uh the top 10%. And as you see here, we waited until the final event. It was a cosmic combat and we still have a level up. And so I'm like, "Hmm. Do I want to make a push? Do I have someone that uh, I can take up and make a little push? Why, yes. Yes, I do. So if you hadn't seen it, I'm sorry, but I opened up after I did the Shang-Chi challenge, I was able to open up three six-star crystals. You can take a look at it, but you're looking at two of the new champions that I got right here. Okay, Heimdall and Abomination. And I was happy to get them. I love doing this. I love ranking these champions up. And they helped me out, of course, get the milestones and get the uh, rankings that I want, which gives me more resources. Okay, the reason to get that top 10%, uh, I'll show you a little bit later. Um, now, I've heard Abomination is actually not bad when you combine him with... Uh, certain synergies. I have not really looked into it, so I don't really know. Okay. Uh, Heimdall, he'll be good. I already have the five star. Uh, it was a while before I finally got that five star. I was waiting for the five star before I went back into uh, Act 6.2.2, I think it was, uh, that's sinister. And I was like, I'm not going back in there until I have a Heimdall. And I finally got him and it was a while before I went back into Act 6 with him. But having the 6-star, there may be content later that uh, you can only bring in your 6-stars. They've already done it before with the variant, so having them as a 6-star is great. 
Now, I was looking here, and I'm like, hmm, what am I at? 112,000 for level up. Now, I am probably okay here, but I've also missed here too, you know, at the uh, top 10%. And if I've gone already this far, I'm like, you know what? We need to go a little bit more. So first, we've got these two stars. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, who knows when the next advancement level up um, combo, you know, wombo combo uh, will happen. So let's just go ahead and take up the two stars. Now, do you guys remember the uh, special uh, arena where you could use, I think it was one stars and two stars only? I rocked that event. It was a grind, but all of my two stars after this are maxed out. And this is why I always take up these champions uh, during a level up, advancement, something. And I have them here and they're helping me make a little bit of a push. So may as well max these guys out. Uh, and it might help later. Uh, and I don't awaken them, and I'm hoping that I don't get them again to awaken them, because when we do have an advancement, I can then awaken them and put six stones into them. And that doesn't give you a ton of points, because it's just the two stars, but combined with other stuff, that will work. Now, I loved getting a two-star uh, Corvus. I really did. Because if they do like they did before, like in a variant, where, uh, and I forget, was it variant four? I can't remember the numbers of the variants, uh, but one of the variants, uh, the first chapter quest, you could use, I think, six stars and five stars. Then the next one, only five stars. The next one, only four stars. And then so on, all the way down to one stars. And I have a very robust one, two, three, and four star roster. Five stars, I have enough of them now ranked up. All right, so you see how I'm at 129. Now I like to be at about 130. So I kept looking to see if I could just not rank up one of the two stars and still get the 130. And you see, we were just about, now like, you know what? Forget it. Uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, rank her up I could just take her to like rank two and I'd be okay. But I said, no, 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 no. Uh, let's just go ahead and take her up and then I won't have to worry about it. We'll check at the end to see uh, where we're at and uh, just go from there. All right, so uh, taking up our little Gwen pool. And again, see finish her off there. I don't want too many of the ISO in my uh, inventory. And I should have only grabbed three, but whatever. Having one in the uh, inventory is not that bad. So now all of my two stars, as you can see, are maxed out. And we check and we're at 138,000. 138,000 for the level up, three hours to go. So we're good. We're good. Okay. Um, so at this point I stopped and as you can see right there, uh, the tech advancement, we did put up enough points for the one to 10%. Now there is a tier four basic fragment selector there. You can see, we also got the mutant advancement also. Um, I had already claimed the rewards or else, uh, you'd be able to see them, but there is a tier four basic uh, fragment selector. That is what I choose every time they add up. And tier four basics, I was starving for them. And so every time I make a push, that's what I select. Uh, I get them out of the glory store. Uh, right now I'm suffering from tier five basic uh, shortage, but that's because I was ranking up some big boy champions recently. You know, Doom, Silver Surfer, Ultron. Uh, so in any case, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching this video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. I enjoy making these videos. I enjoy ranking champions up. 
Uh, that is one of my most fun, the most fun thing. <laughs> I don't even know how to say that, uh, that I do in the game. Uh, so take care and you all have a blessed day.